All right, so thank you guys again for coming to our 14th anniversary stream. Um, this is the 14th year that uh, we, the behemoth as a company, uh, became an official company. I, yeah, <laughs> Dan in the background just like whooping while he's working on stuff. <laughs> um, I'm Megan, I'm the community manager and sitting next to me is Emil, he's our project manager. Hello. Hello. Um, Emil has been with Behemoth for 12 years, so almost as long as the company has been around. Um, yeah, and he, he worked on Alien Hominid as well, which is why he's going to be playing and not me, because this is one of our hardest games, if not the hardest. <laughs> um, we're going to, uh, we're actually streaming right now on multiple. Uh, platforms we're streaming on Twitch, Mixer, and Facebook. So if one of them's not working for you guys, you can go to twitch.tv slash the behemoth or uh, mixer.com slash the behemoth or facebook.com slash the behemoth. And we're going to be um, playing Alien Hominid since again it's our first game as a behemoth. And um, we're actually going to start off in a later level. This is, is this the level 1 3? This is 1 3. We're going to start off uh, in level 1-3. Basically, this alien uh, crash lands into Earth, and then he's fighting against all these FBI agents. And that's all you really need to know. They stole his ship. They stole his ship. And this game is um, multiplayer, two-player as well if you want to play two-player, but we're just going to go solo today. And it has VR support. <laughs> Don't lie to them. <laughs> no VR support. Um... Alright, I'll be checking in on all the different chat rooms uh, just to see if there are questions. Sorry if I missed any questions. Right now I'm just jumping between, again, Facebook, Mixer, and Twitch. Um, Who's playing the game? I am playing the game. Emil is playing the game right now while I check the chat room. Um, this is Alien Hominid on, um, right now we're playing it on Xbox One because it is Xbox One backwards combat compatible. And um, this game was first started off, I think it released August 7th of 2002, like on Newgrounds. Uh, Dan and Tom worked on it together. And um, I sort of wanted to go over the history of it just because I feel like We've, we've said it a lot, but I feel like it still surprises a lot of people every time. Dan and Tom kissed. Mm. And, then... <laughs> and then they made an alien helmet. <laughs> um, so after they made this game, I think Dan was working with John, one of the other co-founders of the Behemoth. They were working at another company, and Dan was walking by when John was playing Alien Hominid, and he's like, oh, I made that game. And then John was like, oh, cool. I like this game. We should make a company. <laughs> and I guess the company was already sort of, you know, on its way out anyway, but um, that the one that they were working with. What, what game were you guys working on, Dan? Soldier of Fortune 2. Yeah. So they were working in San Diego at that time, right? And Tom was still in Philadelphia. And so Dan, I guess, reaches out to Tom over email and Dan, you're listening to this over there. You can let me know if I'm telling it wrong. But basically, uh, he emailed Tom and said, hey, do you want to do a company? This guy wants to just form a company. And Tom just replies back with, OK. <laughs> and then so they start a company, and that was it. <laughs> that's how it started. And so that's why Alien Hominid was the first game. Um, I believe it came out like. So the company formed in 2003, and then the game came out November 2004, right? Came out in PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, Game Boy Advance, and I think we, for a while we actually had copies of some of those for a while, but now the only place you can really find this is on Xbox Live or Xbox 360 or Xbox One. So you're doing really great, by the way. I, uh... Button mashing. <laughs> I'm gonna check the chat room really quick. Let's see. Uh. Oh, and Tom is in the chat room for uh, the Twitch chat if anyone wants to chat with him. Mm. 
Get your instant pudding. <laughs> okay, and now Dan is in the Twitch chat too. <laughs> This was always one of the creepiest ones to me. Because <laughs> of the hands. You haven't gotten caught yet, right? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yes. No. Right. Have you ever tried playing this on Insane? Insane. There's no insane. There's no like wrong uh, game. Maker. Wrong <laughs> game. No, I meant is is there like a permanent? Yeah, like yeah. The it's, just it's just difficult all around. Oh, I've never really gotten past the freeway <laughs> level. That was easy. We did it. We did it. Yay! Oh, he's hiding. You can't see him doing the peace sign. Did it. <laughs> Scoreboard. Twenty nine percent. Wow. You still made it, so it's okay. No oh, bully. What bullies. Don't bully FBI. See look he he looks so happy that he's free. <laughs> Yeah, you can destroy the buildings by shooting down. Now I remember. Dan, there's a question in the chat room that says, what is your favorite game to work on? You got it? <laughs> I didn't see your response. Uh, Eric in the Facebook uh, comments asked, you guys coming out to GDC this year? We don't currently have any plans for GDC. Um, generally, the ones that we do go to are PAX East, uh, Rooster Teeth Expo, San Diego Comic Con, because it's pretty much right down the street. And then uh, PAX West is the big one for us. So those are the four main ones we go to annually. And we have gone to a couple GDC like panels and stuff, but I don't think we've ever exhibited, to my knowledge. No, uh, we used to do the uh, Independent Games Festival, oh, that's right. which was held during GDC. Right, right, right. We don't do that yeah. Because we don't believe in independent games anymore. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Quote, We're still independent. Quote Dan <laughs> Allen. <laughs> we believe in conglomerate gaming. Fact, fun fact, Emil is one of our most sarcastic employees at the behemoth. So don't believe anything he said. Here's a fun fact. We were gonna call the game Aliens Hominance, but then we realized that wasn't proper English. <laughs> there was a uh, there was a bug with this boss that I just beat way back in the day where it would just run off screen and then it would never come back. <laughs> that was probably the best one we've ever had. Those are great bugs. No, this guy. This guy. What were you saying like earlier? You were like, if FBI FBI actually had this. Uh, that was me. Oh, was that right? I think it was right. Oh yeah. What were you using? I think if the FBI actually had one of those, you'd get a lot more people signing up. <laughs> Join the FBI Join robotic the FBI. program. Yeah. <laughs> we build very easily destructible robots. <laughs>
Area 51 confirmed. Maybe. Maybe. So many explosions. You did it. Oh, I like this one. The chipper. It's the chipper. This one's re really cool. I mean, it's gruesome. But... Ah! So that was that was an example of how you could use the chipper. <laughs> you meant to do that intentionally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. I really liked seeing this one. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Nice. Oh! Smart. <laughs> yeah, so again, this game is um, the HD version that's on XBLA and um, it's backward compatible so you can play it on Xbox One. We also had uh, some iOS games based off the mini games in here, but we'll be showing you guys the mini games uh, in just a little bit. We just wanted to run through the original game first. Good job. We did it. I guess you turned it off. You turned off the chipper. Did I get better accuracy? 33. I'm getting better. Yay! Get it to 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're still going on this one, right? We are still getting a little bit of a robot voice. Hmm. Well, yeah, just maybe. I'll just play one more level. This one. I don't remember what we're supposed to do. Find. You're supposed to keep flying. So you find something. And then you blow up. Purposefully? Yeah. Yay! Now I can shoot. Oh, nice. I don't remember this at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> when you started, you were a QA, right? I tested this game. It was my first job. Nice. You did it. Oh, there's so many. I like the little radar thing. That's a nice touch. Just avoiding all of them. Keeping my shit parts. Ha. Oh! your ride. Ah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tom says, hit something, I'm here. <laughs> What did you just post on the Twitch chat? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. This is a public link, right? <laughs> That's the blog link? What? No, no, it's just weird. Oh, there, it works. Can you tell us how you guys got Stamper for Battle Block Theater and Pit People? Uh, I believe the story is Dan and Stamper used to live together and they used to kiss as well. And then, <laughs> and then um, that was back when Dan was uh, living in Philly for a little bit for Alien Hominid. Was that when? Yeah, so that's when they first met and um, yeah, so Stamper has been friends with Dan and Tom and a lot of people, so that's how he got involved in Battle Block Theater. And I think he came towards the tail end 
of Battle Block Theater. Battle Block Theater after you guys had. That was before my time, so I believe that was when the game was already like the mechanics of all the Battle Block Theater uh, game. Which one's Battle Block? <laughs> Our third game uh, with the cats. Yeah, yeah. And was definitely. In there. <laughs> We did it. We did it. All right. Maybe we should switch. Oh, look, super stubby. Yay! Not really. This is just the. No, I know. But it's cool that it's all tied in together. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna switch over to mini games in just a bit. Um, for anyone who has just joined in to the stream. Uh, we are streaming this on three different streaming platforms right now. Um, so we're in Twitch, Mixer, and Facebook Live. So I am checking through the chat for all of those. If you have any questions, um, just feel free to put it in there. Try to tag us if that chat room has a tagging feature. That way we can see it. And um, yeah, I'm Megan, I'm the community manager, and I'm sitting next to Emil, he's our project manager, and he is the one playing through the game. Um, quick thing before we go into PDA games, um, since this is our anniversary stream for our 14th anniversary, I wanted to let you guys know that we also have a couple giveaways. We sometimes do giveaways um, or raffles in the stream, but we aren't doing it today since it's just like a short fun stream. Uh, but you can go to any of our social channels. Let me put that info in the chat so you guys can um, find those links. But it's basically on our Twitter, our Facebook, and our Instagram, three different ways you can uh, try to win one of our keychains. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, again, just uh, drop them in the chat room and we'll try to answer those um, in between things. So this is the first mini game. This is PDA games. PDA games, yes. PDA games. And this is the one that Battle Block Theater um, was inspired by. So the order of our games were Alien Hominid. Castle. We inspired ourselves. <laughs> yes, Dan. <yeah. laughs> so it's Alien Hominid, then Castle Crashers, and then Battle Block Theater. Um, obviously, Battle Block Theater is way more complicated than this, but this was like the foundation of it. Um, and then now we're working on Pit People, and it's that game is our turn-based fast-paced turn-based co-op adventure um, on early access right now. I <laughs> uh, no! I am bad at this. But let us appreciate the wonderful P PDA games music. Yes. As I die, all the time. <laughs> you can do no. this. You can do this. I, I'll be quiet for just a minute so you can concentrate. <laughs> Why? I am not a completionist, so I will not collect everything. I don't even remember who made all these levels. Yeah. And now we have a whole level design team. This is what I did when I test on. When you guys started? Yeah. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is the fan peeking the mic. Sounds better now that we've turned off the fan again. We did it. We did it. Four levels in. Game over already? 
All right. I am ashamed. It's okay. Um, We're going back in. We're starting on. Oh, that's 10. a good question. Someone asked. So, PDA games was the inspiration for BBT. What was the inspiration for PDA games? So I don't know if you guys could hear Dan in the background, but he said that we were just trying to figure out what the alien would play while he was traveling in space forever. Interesting. That's cute. This also features a suicide option. What? What? I didn't know that you could do that in here, just like BBT. Oh, you you used up one of your lives for that. <laughs> That's cool. Do you have any fun, silly, or weird convention stories? These are questions from Facebook right now, by the way. Um, Man. Sure. There's so many different stories. <laughs> yes, we do. Here, let me try, and then you can you can answer that question. <laughs> we did it. Blah. So weird questions or weird uh, weird stories. You've been around longer. Uh, one time our booth no. our booth got TP by pink toilet paper. Oh really? That was pretty fun. Was that the pink Godzilla people? Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm scared now. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, and they made a paper mache alien hominid that was like disturbing. It was disturbing. Pee story. Pee story. story. Pee story. Did somebody pee? Nope. <laughs> now are you talking about Comic Con? <laughs> we had a uh, a fan that was very excited at Comic Con. Oh, you don't want the little kid. <laughs> I wasn't going to call anyone out, but... Well, I think if you didn't say it was a little kid, then it sounds like it's an adult yeah, who got very that's excited. That sounds more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> and an adult peed on our chair. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get very loud when I play games. Oh, no! <laughs> Do it. No! <laughs> I keep dying at the exact same spot. Oh, no. Okay. Timing. Timing. Oh, mother. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say the full word. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, here, I'm gonna hand it back so I can check my question. <laughs> uh, Dead Flip, Jack Danger asks, when will Castle Crashers, <laughs> when will there be a Castle Crashers pinball machine? Dude, isn't that up to you? Weren't you designing one? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on? I can't jump off this. Why are you red? Oh, because you're about to die. <clears throat> That's just the point. What is happening? Too better. I know, right? Well, isn't this entertaining? Alright. Welcome to the future. <laughs> what double jump? Oh, there's double jump. Oh, there's double jump. I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a double jump. <laughs> you weren't a completionist. Sometimes. <laughs> you have to be a completionist for the PDA games, though. <clears throat> yes. Someone asked how, when, and how did I get on board with Behemoth? When was it? 2010? We saw you in Tokyo, Yeah. I think, so, my story with Behemoth is... 2011? Was it really? 
here. Okay. okay. So, uh, I think first in 2010, I went to see Emil at Tokyo Game Show, and I met um, Dan, John, and a couple other people there. And then I came back in 2011 from Japan, and you guys were like, oh, we need some help in Tokyo Game Show um, to speak with people uh, who come to the booth in Japanese. So that's when I first sort of just started working at like a booth for Behemoth. And then a few months later, I um, was hired on board like that year. So 2011, yeah. Let's see. Do you have any fun or weird stories about the Behemoth headquarters or about Dan? Oh, <laughs> man, the Facebook questions are like, they're like really digging in this. <laughs> um, by the way, if you want to switch to a different mini game, sure. Uh, or you can just keep going. Were you still playing? Do uh, it. I've Do it. Once horribly. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, stories about Dan. There's no ring. Oh, look. <laughs> we were just talking about that story at my birthday dinner. Um, yeah, so a few years ago, we live, or not we live, we work in, <laughs> I feel like I live here. We work in downtown San Diego, and there's, you know, there's transient uh, and homeless people in every downtown and there was one time where this there was this guy outside of our building and we could hear him like rustling through the dumpsters which are right outside our building and then we could hear him like shuffling and opening up cabinets like there was a cabinet right outside of our door and we looked at the security camera and it was like this guy is just like taking off his clothes in front of like the door. Obviously, I don't think he knew that there was a camera, but Dan was, Dan and I were like, what should we do? And Dan just goes, mama, mama. <laughs> I was like, no, don't, don't. And the Wait, guy. So that he could hear? So I don't know what Dan mom. was thinking. Yeah, what mom. were you, mom, <laughs> mama, mama. And, and, then, and then the guy like stops. And he stops, and then we're like looking at the security camera still. He stops, and then all of a sudden, the next thing we know, he's climbing up the window, which luckily has bars. Oh, man. And he's like staring into the office. And I was like, you, you, you like triggered him, Dan. <laughs> and then I was like, everybody move away from the window. <laughs> he was, but he didn't know we were inside. <laughs> and then... Of course, we called the police, and he, they didn't show up for like two hours, and they never showed up. They never showed up they but like, yeah, they called like hours later, and they're like, "So you guys, you guys good? He's still there?" It's like, "No, he's gone now." <laughs> but that was that was quite scary. That was not great. <laughs> Super creepy. Yeah. All right, so that's that's a story about Dan. That's 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 headquarters and Dan. <laughs> All right, piñata fiesta. Do it, Ryan. Uh, one of our level designers is is playing the game. Now. I've never played this mode. You just gotta get some candy. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so you, you yeah, there you go, and then you wait until it's safe to go collect the candy. Oh. Oh no, it's not safe. Like, it's not safe. What were you doing? This uh makes me think of gold mode in BBT. Is that just me? Yeah. So Kokoro in Twitch was asking how many people worked on the Back then we had five, four people. Four? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I mean, originally it was just three, but... Yeah, that's crazy. When I got hired, I think there was only four of us. Five of us. So we had some contractors. 
Fourteen was about five. Okay, that's cool. Oh no, I've done a bad thing. What did you do? I almost died. Almost. You didn't do a bad thing. Then. I almost You're fine. Shark, shark shot. Did you oh god. Oh, uh, does it even work on? It works. Oh, I missed him though. Oh no, I hit him. Oh, look at all that candy. Look at the candy. It's your birthday. It's our birthday. Yay! Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect hot. timing! We can't even drive yet. 14? Yeah. Oh. I mean, we can technically, just not legally. <laughs> yeah. oh, Are there, I'm trying to think if other countries, or if there are any other countries that you could drive a 14, but I can't think of any. Yeah. I can't say I'm familiar with um, driving law in many other countries. Yeah. Getting some stuff. Not bad. Good job. Should obviously be more challenging with uh, somebody to play against. Oh, there it is. I want that. Two seconds. Someone asked, have you ever tried to jumble jump in real life? I, I have it doesn't I work. Gonna... Where did you try to double jump to? Just the air. I just <laughs> tried it. Yeah. Like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Doesn't work. We can try one of the other mini games. Okay. The urban challenge. Urban challenge. What do you can eat? Neutron ball. We'll go in order. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so um Because I also haven't played. Oh, oh no, this oh, is this just like difficult. the second level of the game. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> Why no, would you make so a mini game version of this? Oh, oh no. no. I actually never played this this mini game. I haven't either. I haven't even played this level in the game. Oh really? No. You never got past 1-1? One, one? Nope. <laughs> I tried. I tried desperately. I'm just, you know. Yeah, part not, of I don't have that Twitch skill. Part of the reason. I'm a thinker. You're a thinker, yeah. not a twitcher. Not a twitcher. Part of the reason why we decided to just start from 1-3 uh, during the stream was because a lot of times people will demo this game at like PAX or wherever, over. and then it's like, you can't really get past this level. So <laughs> it's like one of the hardest levels. Asking about how to get into QA, and it's better if you answer it, I think. How to get into QA? Yeah, somebody was asking, like, they want to go into QA. They're asking me, but I, I feel like you're better qualified. I mean, I don't really have any, like, secret advice other than I applied for a job and got it, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you check uh, out the research centaur regularly? So yeah. Yeah, I mean, we do have the research centaur, yeah. so... It's a lot easier now than it was back then. These games aren't really fun, one player. I know. Well, you trying ball. They were made for two players. Yeah. Here we go. Everyone, everyone relax. Ah! Yay! And that's that. No, <laughs> come on. What? So, no, this we'll is, game. I've seen second. a lot of these um, Why are you even come up in other, uh, in BBT, like that was a ball game. This one. So this is the other iOS game we had. So the first one was Alien Hominid PDA games, and this is also on iOS and, um, it should still be free to download. Made it in, two days. Made it in two, days. two days. Wait, was that after it was already done on Alien Hominid and then you made it? Oh, the minigame we made originally in two days. Wow. I want to make a bad political Ooh, Was it Tom? Right now, but I won't. Tom and I, we just decided to do this. Just do it. Just do it and make it. And you made it happen in two days. Yeah. Yeah. I think we. Pwned. Study geography very well. <laughs> America has things around it. No, no, no. This is an uh, accurate <laughs> accurate representation of the world. Tom said, "I thought we made this in like three hours." That's true. Maybe it was three hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was one night, and then the next night we got the music. 
Nice. It, it really doesn't show either. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone in Mixer asks, will you be adding more achievements to Pit People when it has its final release? Um, we will definitely have at least one or two more uh, achievements uh, by the full one release. More than one or two. Dan is... Oh, it's official! Dan is nice. saying... I want to... I want to make a bunch, but I don't know if I'm gonna. Shh. <laughs> Dan says, I want to oh. make a bunch, but I don't know God. if I'm gonna. I will. I didn't get that one? <laughs> no, I missed it. You heard it here, I promise. You guys heard it here. Someone asked, how do you unlock the Super Soviet Missile Master minigame? I didn't unlock it. You have to get to the Russian levels. Yeah. And I think either you beat the Russian levels or just no, get to them. No, once you reach Russia, it's unlocked. It just okay. doesn't tell you. Got, got, you got, your missile was intercepted by Again? a bird. No, I got it. Okay. Oh, no. Still, though, watch out for those birds. Yeah, just like those in real life. missile birds. <laughs> birds will destroy yeah. missiles. Try to hit where we are. Oh. Okay. Hey, let's ask the chat room. Where should I? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> let's do a vote. Uh, no. I'll stay in the middle. <laughs> we did it. All right. We'll try this a couple more times. You two can play this game right now. That's right. Order today. Yay. What's what's B B I K C O? That's a yeah. good question, Ryan. That stands for high score. <laughs> oh, okay. Did we actually translate that? Or is that I just gibberish? No, I think it's real. Okay. Right? Realish. Dan, right? What's happening? What's the high score text? Is that real Russian? Yes. Whoa. Sweet. Well, just, like, I, mean, no. I think it's the fan again. Sorry. Yeah. Um, do, deal with your own. Deal with your heat. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. Try to hit where we are. I did, like four times. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> I haven't hit the East Coast. Oh! I don't think you can, can you? I think if you, like, dive into it. Oh. The bottom there. Alright, let's see. What else we got? We don't have Desert or Area 51, but we do have this, which was, uh... That's all you can go off. Yeah. Being got it. Yeah! No. We're doing it. These I mini do. games inspired other mini games. <laughs> it did, I like it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> yeah, look how happy you look. Good job. Are those French fries? Yes, bowl, bowl number two, French fries. Here we go. Sweet. Eat, 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 Ooh. eat. Look, the noob is so slow compared to you. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> there is a spoon method that works really well. Where you get a spoon. You know oh. That? What? Are you Which, serious? Absolutely. Like in real sense. life, sure. using the... It was like, uh, for like old Nintendo games where it was like A, B to alternate, like for track and field. Oh. You get a spoon and then you can go back and forth. Nice. Well, it's funny that you use a spoon to eat with yeah. your controller <laughs> to eat food on it a video game. Seems perfect. And then, in real life, you're just hungry. Yeah. <laughs> now what are you eating? Soup? Um, not sure. I feel like your hands are not the best way to eat soup. You could just drink the bowl. Ooh, ice cream. Ice. We're gonna stop. What? <laughs> I, like, I like the food levels. Um, alright. So, what let's do... Area 51. How do you unlock those? Yeah. You just get to the levels? Area 51. Oh, snap. And then we'll unlock it. They need to get better ratchet straps. Those are armored scorpions. I don't think they're armored. <laughs> Edwin from Facebook said, I'm so happy to see this. Alien Hominid was the game that got me to know the behemoth. The cover was so colorful and cartoonish. I'm still enjoying um, every game to this day. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for um, 
for playing our games and a lot of the people who have been with us since Alien Hominid, that means you guys have been with us for 14 years. <laughs> 14 years! It's very good job to play. Thank you for loving us. Thank you. Thank you for your love. We love you back. Get it. Yeah. That scorpion charge. Two of them. Sort of disturbing looking. Yeah. It's like a giant ear wig. But I never want to have it anywhere near my ear. Oh, no. Wow. Because it can control my brain. Or inspired level like this. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's like the sand dunes for like mm -hmm. the castle crashers. Oh, it's getting hard. Tell me more about the test that they made you do with PDA. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when I was applying for the job... For level did, design. Yeah. Came into the interview and um, chatted a bit with Erin. And then she sat me down and was like, okay, here, play through this game a bit. And then uh, we'll put you in the editor and just kind of see what you can work with. So I played PDA games for like two hours and kind of got familiar with it. And then just started making stuff in the editor, and that turned out to be a pretty good, um, oh no, now I'm playing, it's hard <laughs> to think and talk. Yes, especially with this game. Um, it actually turned out to translate pretty well to Battle Block Theater. Yeah. Um, and we learned a lot of design stuff from, from oh, nice. looking at PDA games too, just in terms of kind of how we wanted to introduce mechanics mm -hmm. and kind of avoid pitfalls like in Battle Block Theater we definitely avoided having spikes in by um, oh no this is oh, no. how do I dig? I don't remember. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Um, so avoid having spikes like totally hidden and just in unfair positions um, to give the player kind of the benefit of 
they're paying attention, they can avoid most hazards in DBT. Right. Oh man, this roll thing is amazing. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. It's pretty. Oh, dig. There we go. Whoa. And then I jump right up into it. We've always really enjoyed the fact that we have like little Easter eggs in yeah. all of the games. You know, whether that's. Mm -hmm. You know, the PDA games is not necessarily an Easter egg, it's like, that's the inspiration, but we've had Alien Hominated in pretty much every game yeah. in some way. Yeah. Um, is there anything that people yet? I can't remember. For? For uh, Alien Hominated? Um, not currently. Not that I know of. Yeah. Um, so we've got like, Alien Hominated in Castle Crashers yeah. as a playable character. And then he's one of the prisoners you can unlock in battle blocks. It is, you know, you're not sucking. This okay. is just a hard game. <laughs> but you just, it's all like the timing. Yeah. Oh, no, don't want to be there. Careful, the grenades are about to like come out again. Right on top of my buried head? <laughs> Probably. Oh, I'm turning blue. Get out of there. So when do the mini games get on? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to dodge laser, they said. Oh wait, that's what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna hide under the ground. I feel like this is what I would do in real life. If there was a giant spaceship strafing me, I would just dig. Yeah. Dig, hide under there. Yeah. No, don't stop. You're doing way better than I would be. <laughs> Seriously. You charging up that gun too? Yeah, trying to. Alright, well, we only have about 10 minutes left, so if you guys have any last questions, feel free to send them our way, and then, um, and then we'll try to get through as many as we can in the last 10 minutes. We are struggling, Emil. Come back. <laughs> ah! Oh. Emil's head got away. <laughs> <laughs> what? You did it. You hit. Oh, good job. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, oh, buddy. Whoa, grenades. Oh, grenades. No. Grenades. That's the wrong ball I hit. Oh, wait. Oh, you're almost there, you're almost there, here. you're almost there. I know you were, I know you landed on Earth first, but you have to be a jerk about it. Oh, got up. Can you can do it, Ryan, you can do it. I don't know, man. You do it pretty bad. Can we expect some pit people in Castle Crashers? Um, right now we're just focusing on finishing uh, Pit People, and then we may add things to other games later, but we're, we haven't really planned that out yet. But if we do, we'll let you guys know. Seb from Facebook said, I don't think you're going to defeat that boss in time for 10 minutes. I don't know. I'm almost Faith, there. That is so close. Believe. Oh, come on. There's just the sliver left. Dude, get back in your spaceship. <laughs> yeah. Yay. See? You did it. You did it. Man. With eight minutes to spare. Oh, I have the mini game unlocked! Cool. Do we have time to show it really quick? Yeah. And as soon then. As I stop. Cool. 
Accuracy, 0%. 43. That's much higher it, than Ryan. I thought. Sweet. You did it. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, quit. <laughs> cool. Desert challenge. Let's see. Never played this one either, so. Look, it's just like going back to oh, that same <laughs> How do I fight these things? I gotta duck, don't I? What a stupid toy. Don't dig? Ever? Don't dig. You'll be you'll be dead. Oh come on. Dead if you dig. Whoa. Oh wait. Tornado seem to do they kill me or do I get a super shield from them? I, I die. think they kill yep, you. <laughs> Just to, oh, okay. Game over. Alright. <laughs> Aww. I mean, I was good job. better at that good than job. me. That's alright. At least we got to see it. Cool. Well, it's pr that's pretty much all the time we have anyway. So, it's, it's a short stream. We, we all gotta get back to working on pit people, but it's just sort of like... It'd be nice to be able to go back to our roots yeah. for like... Well, happy birthday. Yeah. So again, uh, this was our 14th anniversary, which is why we wanted to just play through Alien Hominid for a little bit. Um, just a reminder, if you guys want a chance to win one of the Behemoth Chicken keychains or Alien Hominid keychain, uh, you can go to some of our socials, um, Twitter, uh, <laughs> oh, you're doing the credits. Nice, <laughs> nice way to end this. Uh, you can go to our Twitter, our Facebook for Behemoth, or um, our Instagram, and those are three different ways you can enter to win. Um, it's convenient your name was first, Emil. Yeah, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wanted to put it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe. I think it's um, a design team. Yay. I like how Mike's individually. Yes. Yeah. I guess that was before we really knew. <laughs> the Behemoth is credited. The behemoth. That was like yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, a couple other like short announcements, um, just since we have you guys here. Pit People Update 5 is coming out soon. Uh, we announced that recently. So Update 5 is going to have like a new permadeath option, um, streamer friendly uh, music option. Um, I believe there's some leveling changes and you can also play the online level online tutorial from the start um so you can play the game from the start on online multiplayer so keep an eye out for that it'll be coming out um by the end of september and then if you guys ever make it out to san diego uh, fleet science center is still doing the game masters exhibition up until january of 2018 so check it out because there are tons of games in there, including Alien Hominid and Castle Crashers. Uh, you just have to play, pay admission to go in just to check out all the different games. You can spend the whole day there if you'd like. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, do you have anything to say before? That's it. Okay. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. And also thank you for playing our games all these years and supporting us in, in the past 15, 14, 14, hopefully 15 years. Thank plus. you. Thank you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.